Good morning, Bulldogs, and happy Monday. We are excited to begin our fourth week of distance learning, and we hope you had an amazing weekend. I know we got some disappointing news over the weekend that uh, the school building will be closed for the rest of the school year. However, we are excited to still be together here in distance learning. We're going to do our best to turn this into a positive and continue to work our hardest. We are still here for you if you need anything, or even if you just want to chat, reach out to your homeroom teacher and, and be glad to talk with you and uh, find out how you're going. So check in with us, guys. As a reminder, the third grade teachers have put all of the printable papers that you're going to need for this week so that you have them in one place and you don't have to go back through the module to try to find them. And that is located here at this website, bit.ly slash thirdbexley. And we're going to continue to put all of those documents in one place that'll be easy for you to find. You're going to head into the week four folder when you head to that link. For Monday in ELA, you're going to be completing the introduction for lesson nine and doing the optional pretest that comes along with it. As a reminder, you can close out your week three stuff. Once you've finished all of the activities here, click that little arrow next to week three, that'll minus it down so you can head just to your week four section. For today's work, you're gonna head into the 9.00 module nine pretest, and you're going to read the introductory slide about this, the content that we're gonna be covering this week. So read through it to get a good overview of our work really over the next two weeks, as we're gonna be working on making connections and dealing with uh, and creating your opinion writing paper. That is going to be for next week. There is an optional pretest today that you can take. It is not required, but it'll give you a good baseline on where you're starting as you head into this unit. Throughout this week's unit, you're going to be adding information to graphic organizers. These will not be turned in this week. However, we are highly suggesting and requesting that you keep these for next week. That'll make it a lot easier for you because you're going to need this in order to write your final paper next week. So pay close attention to the activities this week that have you adding items to graphic organizers because these are going to help you immensely as you plan and publish your next opinion writing piece next week. Today in math, you are going to be comparing and classifying different quadrilaterals. We are heading into geometry, which is an extremely fun unit where we're going to be classifying shapes based upon their attributes and characteristics. Up till now, we've been able to identify squares and trapezoids and rhombus by uh, just looking at them for their shape. Now we're going to be looking at the different pieces that make up that shape and find some interesting facts about squares, rectangles, and other four-sided quadrilaterals as we go through this unit. You can follow Mrs. Walker's video, then complete your Zern lesson, and then submit your problem set. Or you can check in at 2 o'clock. Mrs. Morshin will be leading today's lesson. We are, through whichever option you choose, you're going to be completing the problem set while you go through the lesson. So please prepare that in advance, get your paper ready, and you're going to be completing it along with the video, or you'll be coming into your lesson with us and we'll be completing that together and when we finish that lesson you'll be able to turn in your problem set to be complete this is not something you'll be completing on your own you're doing it with the video or you're doing it with us in per or online once you have finished your problem set submit it and head home in science this week we're going to be exploring light energy and different ways of light sources and the way light moves you're going to read lesson 6.0 today, complete the activities that go along with it, and you're going to be turning in a light energy worksheet at the end. Suggested that you turn this in today. Complete the activities, submit it on my learning, and then head back home. Today you will also complete your reading log, read for 30 minutes, and complete the summary sentences to go along with it, and you'll be getting your 30 minutes of PE in. If you have any other questions today, please reach out to us in the discussion room. The Zoom lessons are are up from 10 to 4 every day, so check the discussion board for the active Zoom code. And if we'll see you today at our 2 o'clock math lesson, the code for that is also going to be in the announcement section. Make it a great day, Bulldogs, and we'll see you online.